Hi folks, Pete here from Ashton's Cars and today I'm showing you around a 2012 Citroen C4 exclusive E HDI semi-automatic. Bit of a mouthful. Essentially it's the higher spec of, uh, of this 2012 model uh, Citroen C4 with the most economical engine in it which is the E HDI. E HDI basically so it's a diesel and um, E stands for economy, it's the high economy version of this car. Very, very low um, emissions on it, so we get free road tax on this car in the UK. Something of a selling point. Not many automatic vehicles that you can do that with. I say automatic, it's a semi-automatic gearbox on this car, which means you don't have a clutch pedal, um, but what you do have is some flappy paddles that you can use uh, for a manual shift, or you can let the car do that for you. Um, you do sort of feel the changes a little bit more than a conventional auto. It is a, a, a sort of manual gearbox with an automatic clutch, essentially. Um, but very easy to drive. If you can drive an automatic, you can drive this. And if you've got an auto-only license, that's not a problem. This will be, be fine for you. It does mean you get a better economy out of it, though. And, you know, you tend to find in the real world, these things will do about 60 miles per gallon which is very good. I think Citroen claims 72 or maybe even more than that, but say 60 miles per gallon is a realistic, real world figure for this type of vehicle. It's quite a good looking car in that it's inoffensive. It's not going to uh, sort of stand out a million miles in a crowd because most cars in this sector look pretty similar these days, but some nice little chrome trim. If you look down at the bottom there on the back bumper, You've got some chrome accent trim on it which makes this one stand out among lesser models it is very clean and tidy it is a nice metallic color there is a tiny little mark though by there that i've just noticed but you can hopefully see that there's a, a lovely shine to the metallic coachwork overall and that's a mark that will polish out so we'll get that done for you before it goes anywhere now the previous owner of the car did fit the uh, the wind deflectors that you can see on it so they'll be remaining on the car i think they're quite nice actually they, they look good and they're also quite practical, um, especially if you like to have your window cracked open a little bit. Although that said, this car has got ice cold air conditioning, which I've been using today because it's absolutely boiling here. So I've been quite, uh, quite glad of that. Um, I'll just quickly show you into the boot of the car and you know how much room you've got in the back and stuff. And then we'll, we'll also jump in and have a little start up of the car as well, just to make sure that uh, we show you all of that. So, boot space, it's big, it's deep, it's got split fold seats, and it's probably bigger than a Focus, if you're looking at this type of car, probably bigger than a Golf as well, so one of the bigger boots in this category. There is a drop down here, so you have got a little bit of a, a drop down to the boot, but when you do get there, that just means it's deeper than, than a lot of cars. Has it got a spare wheel? No. So it will come with an inflation kit, this car. No spare wheel. Obviously, always something that we get asked quite a lot, so I thought I'd uh, nip it in the bud right now. But yeah, clean and tidy, good size boot, proper family car. Speaking of families, let's have a look into the back of the car first. And yeah, there's a fair bit of room there. So it's a bit glare from the sun. Not used to having that in Wales, but um, you can see we have got quite a lot of leg room in the back. It's got free inertia seat belts on this back seat. It's going to be comfortable for free adults, this car is in the back. Um, fair bit of headroom in it as well, because the, the roof line on it does not slope until after those seats. So uh, so it's a good size rear uh, and a perfect family car again. Let's have a look now at the front of it. Well, we'll jump in the driver's side in a minute, but just to show you, nice modern design and layout in this car. It's got a good spec on it. It is the semi-auto, so you've got a tiny little auto shifter. It's absolutely tiny. And it's got an electric handbrake, so uh, it's quite an uncluttered, futuristic look, I think, to the car because of those two features. Um, let's jump in the, the driver's side and let's start it up for you. Oh, a neat thing on here, which I'll just show you very briefly while I am out of the car, is if I lock it, the mirrors do fold in electrically, and when I open it, they fold out electrically. Right, so back into the interior. Much like the rest of the C4, there's nothing in here to get overly uh, 
sort of obsessed over. But there's nothing in here that's going to really upset me either. It's, it's a nice, well laid out interior. The, the, the car is actually very good quality. It feels much, much more uh, sort of high quality than the older C4s um, from the previous generation. And uh, well, let's give it a quick start up and see what it goes like. So it's conventional key on this car as well, which uh, is becoming rare these days, but I'm quite keen on having a key. Let's get the steering lock off. I do like this blue glow that you get from the instruments. And please note if there's any flickering at all on the instruments, uh, your end on it, it's not, it's not the car, it's the recording equipment that makes it look like there is. So, as I was explaining earlier, a very small shifter by here, put my foot on the brake and just push it down like that, the car will go into drive. And as you can see on the left hand dial there, it now says auto one. If I slide it down one more notch on here, it just says one, and that means I've got manual control using these paddles either side of my wheel. So I've got plus and minus, as you hopefully saw then. I can shift gear with these paddles if I wish to, and uh, it's not going to do it now, other than go into second if I wanted to start off in second and wear my clutch out, but why would I want to do that? So, yeah, it's, it's a basically, I've got manual control of the gears if I want it, or auto control now where the car does it for me. Um, if I want to go into reverse, there's no park on this, so it's basically just revert neutral, and then I pull it up a notch and forward, and I've got reverse. When I put it in reverse, my rear parking sensors are active, and I get this display come up on here, as well as an audio beep to tell me when the car's, uh, when the car's approaching an object. So it's pretty easy to use, it's pretty inoffensive. The quality of the interior fixings is actually very good. Um, massive cubby space. Massive. Cracky. It's huge. Huge, huge cubby space there, which you could, I don't know, fit a pet gerbil in or something. I don't know. What would you put in there? Um, but it's huge. And there's a cup holder by here with a nice slidey armrest that goes over the top of it if I want to. The whole thing's well thought out, well laid out. I like it. It's, it's got a decent stereo system. It's got cruise control. It's got everything you could possibly want from a modern car. If you're looking for something really... Um, in this category this is the cheapest one to run um of all the automatic diesels that i've uh, that i've looked at and it's also to be honest the most spacious it does feel like a more luxurious car in here than a, than a focus or a golf so um makes perfect sense really to go for something like this you know it's got everything on it you could possibly want so uh yeah not much more to tell you really i quite like it and uh, i'm not normally a citroen fan so hopefully that tells you it's quite a good car. Let's uh, let's just jump back outside, and you know I'll show you how you can get back in touch with us if uh, if you want some more info. So the best way, guys, if you are interested in this car, what's happened to my photo, my picture now? Let me just uh, solve this technical hitch. Okay, we're back. I don't know what happened then because uh, the screen turned white. I'm not sure if it did your end, but. Um, best thing to do if you want to get in touch with us is to give me a call on 07 932 873 646 I'll be able to give you any more info that you need on this car and also I'll be able to reserve it for you if you want it and arrange delivery to you at your doorstep delivery is free of charge if you're within 150 miles of us here in sunny South Wales we can deliver literally anywhere in the UK and even beyond that at a push And of course, we're happy to take your old car in part exchange. So let us know what you've got and I'll work out a deal to suit you. Anyway, nothing more for me to say other than thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Uh, feel free to give us a like and a comment. Let us know what you, uh, what you enjoy about the videos. Um, let us know of any experiences you may have had with Citroen C4 eHDIs. And um, as I say, get in touch with us if we can be of any assistance to you at all. 079 328736646 is the number. Thanks again guys. Have a great day. Goodbye.